we've started to 3D print uh, fish products. The flakiness of the fish is, is something that is unique for fish. When you cut a whole cut of meat, you can see the muscle fibers. It's, it's really high densified. In the fish, the density is much lower. The flakiness is something that is much more easier to mimic. And with our patent protected printing capabilities, we know to 3D print exactly the same texture and flakiness of a real fish. That's something that we have already a capability today of printing. Most of the companies working in Cultivated come from a U.S. or European context where the conversation around food and sustainability is all about carbon right now. And in Asia, on the, uh, alternatively, fish is a major protein for a billion people. So for us, it's high impact regionally and I think more salient to a conversation about food sustainability. We've managed to do it for grouper and for eel. Uh, we have three other species in our pipeline that are also endangered uh, sort of species that we'll be coming out with uh, publicly in the next few months. And the goal is to build a repository so that the same hardware can manufacture products from any of these cell lines. We want consumers to choose based on how it tastes and what it can do for the, for the world and for the planetary environment. And we want to take cost off the table as a consideration. Mm -hmm.